Hello and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 with me, Barton. We're progressing here um, in our Lizardman campaign. We just started a war with the Skaven and we're taking um, Shortex Causeway away from them, which um, kind of splits, um, kind of splitting their territory a little. You know, they've got here Mirror Pool and then. Um, down here we notice some of them in uh, Maku Peaks um, so um, it should be you know it should be um, okay for us we're gonna have to maybe uh, kind of stave off a counter-attack coming from the mirror pool or maybe um, somewhere up here uh, but once we do that then we can probably start Kind of whittling them down and um with this kind of thing um we do have to be we have to be aggressive because um we have to be aggressive because we got um two you know they're not huge but they're still um large standing armies which um take a lot of money so if we look at these um two armies here so like that's 1500 and then um, his one is 1900 so between them uh, three and a half um, thousand gold uh, per turn to maintain them so you know we because of that we really don't want to um, we don't want to uh, just have them idling around so uh, they need to be aggressive they need to be taking um, places which are going to generate the money that's going to pay their upkeep so let's um, end the turn and see what the um, Skaven do okay diplomacy um, Okay, so who is this from? Uh, talk Chuck. So these are base. Uh, uh, basically, it's another lizard guy. Uh, he's got exactly the same movement as Mazda Mundi, which is, uh, f at least for me, is a bit humorous. <laughs> They're on exactly the same loop. Uh, I thought there would have been more than that. But um, so currently, we're neutral with them. Um, but they offer assistance to our noble spawns. So that's nice. Um, now let's um, make a counter offer. So we've got non-aggression pact. Um, now what else can we do? Add offer demand. Okay, so. Wow. This is, <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, there's so few options. I thought we would have been able to be like, let's have a trade agreement. Let's swap map information. You know, all the kind of the staples from um, previous ones, but uh, apparently not. So um, let's just escape out of that, I guess. And just, um, go. There we go. So, our minds are bound by duty. Okay, um, that's okay. But yeah, I would have expected to have a lot more um, options there in the diplomacy because you you expect like when a game series progresses that there's going to be you know uh, things are going to get more sophisticated. But a lot of this again because it's a kind of a mashup. Um, the foul scent of vermin oh, nice. permeates Here this place, yeah. my lord. Do not risk the undermining of your rule by the Skaven. Take steps to reduce their chittered lies spreading among your followers. Okay, nice. Um, corruption is a measure of chaos, vampiric, or Skaven influence in the province, and is shown on the province info panel. Excess of cor corruption in the uh, province can lead to unrest and attrition, and eventually an uprising if left in check. Skaven corruption is high in 
uh, tear to you command, take steps to the preset. Um, and steps to the preset is basically kick some scaven ass. my lord, for the dark elves have been sighted. These pitiless killers are as dangerous on the battlefield as they are treacherous round the table. It's fine. I advise great caution. Yep. Okay, great caution. Fine. And then you leave us all the way over there. We didn't want to be left all the way in there. Okay, now. So let's start with uh, Master Mundi. No, I said Master Mundi, so uh, I guess let's choose you. And then get to the other Okay. So let's take your army and let's head over here. Wait, why can't he move? Oh, no. Okay, so um, this is going to be pretty easy, so let's just fight it. And again, it's a um, it's a case of um, just taking stuff away, similar to the way we did with the Skeggy. Take away their ability to replenish their units and to maintain the upkeep. And also in this case as well, their ability to increase chaos um, in this area. And then if we do that, um, you know, we make it easier for us overall. Um, let's start applying because 13 is pretty good. And um, then you guys, I want to go at the back. Okay. Um, you guys just run. You guys. Um, you guys. Okay. So you'll make a group. You'll be basically the um, their about to die group. And you'll stay back here. Then you um, you gotta wait for that. So spells may be overcast to increase their potency, my lord. Nice. Yet I advise caution. Channeling so much raw magic at once brings the risk of disaster. Yeah, well, it'd be fun. So their guys are definitely hiding. The boys then would hide too, I think. So let's move you up there. Let's then um, move those guys. And move you to there. And then you guys go to there. Okay, then the Mr. Boss Man. There you are. Okay, so, not too far away. So he's going to heal one of um, this lot. Probably this, these guys here. I like I like the kind of the atmosphere of this one, not knowing where they are, um, and it'd be nice as well, um, you know, sometime in the future of the Total War uh, franchise to have something like that where, rather than knowing where the enemy are, like maybe you move your army across the map, actually on a map like this, rather than on the world map. And then you can just get completely waylaid. That'd be really cool. So, you guys not seen anything yet. So, um, go as far as there. Okay, and now Mr. Bossman has got his heal available. So Okay, so replenish, replenishes. Okay, cool. So they're at 21. Um, let's see how far, how high up they go. Probably says here actually. Um, replenishment, hit points, combat. Um, okay, just says 
duration of 23 seconds. So we'll see how many um, hit points they actually get back. Right now. Um, let's move to group. The enemy bring mighty weapons of war to the battle. Have them destroyed, Commander, or they will decimate your troops from afar. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna have too much trouble doing that. So you guys attack them. Let's get everyone. Boss man, let's get you in the mood. And you can start boosting some of our guys. So again, um, like, I think this is the first battle we've had like this where we are just way better than them. But um, I've talked about it on my other Total War series, and uh, it's like this is about um, doing the right, uh, basically, you know, um, approaching battles the right way. And um, that means basically doing things in the right way all the time. So every time. Uh, you know, we should handle the uh, fight in the way we would, as if um, there were a lot, um, if there were like a, a lot more than these guys are going. But <laughs> I think they made a run at the last um, one as well, so maybe they're having trouble with their um, having trouble with their. Um, Morale and those guys are winning as well. It's interesting. Okay, but um, we've got a lot of their guys ready to win too. But our warriors are rallying now, yeah? uh, which is great. And then you can then um, start putting boosts out to people. So, boost those guys. Now, you, you want to go. Oh, I'm I want to go all over there. I just wanted you to attack me. Okay. And you're shooting already. You guys can just. Uh, there we go, this week. Okay, so. It's about, um, you know, making sure that we. We don't um, kind of get into bad habits because what can happen is um, you can have when you're kind of dominating a faction, um, you can get in a position where you are um, kind of you get a lot of these types of fights, and then um, maybe um, because of that, you can get into a position where your game becomes a bit sloppy. Um, and you don't do the right things, you don't try to flank 
um, enemies. Uh, you don't try to you know, soften them up with your range units first and you just charge in. And then first of all, you're wasting, um, you're wasting your own units by doing that. Uh, you know, basically they're, well, in this case, they're health bar. Uh, in other Total Wars, it'd be actual uh, people. And then um, also, when you go and you need that discipline in a much more difficult battle, then um, it's going to desert you. So you do that. Um, that is. Okay, and then um, replenish those guys. Okay. Okay. And again, we're just looking to um, to take down. You know, as many of them as you can. Looks like that's all of them though off the field. Just um, the other guys gone over there, so should be any second now it'll say that we won. There we go. So um we just got field marshal. That's probably uh, win ten battles or something like that, I imagine. So we lost um, 115 guys um, to their 84. So um, they did do a good job um, with some of their units. Um, like those guys that, the guys of ours that momentarily ran as well. Uh, but overall, I think it's um, a good thing for us. So we could release the captives. Um, we could get more experience. Or we could replenish. So let's replenish, kill any rats. Okay, and then um, transfer form of Cripple Peak. Um, we kill in battle, so fair play to us. Do that. Transfer form of Cripple Peak, or enemy belong to rebels, has perished in the Battle of Falling. Gates for us to fight. Okay. okay, and then Lord Master Mundi, weapon strength plus six. Excellent. This sword of might. The sword of might is a grand blade in a rich pommel that imbues its owner with a boon of strength in the heat of battle. That's really nice for us. Okay, and then also we got um, confidence. The key to a successful battle action. Achieve um, victory from multiple offense battles. Leadership plus 3 when attacking, Lord's Army. Leadership aura size plus 10% when attacking. Okay, that's excellent. So he can be maybe slightly further back um, compared to um, where he could have been before to, to give that order to people. Or the aura to people. Okay, and then next. Uh, resolve or skip this notification. Okay, Lord not moves, so that's probably um, you. Right, so um, we can go after them again. So we've got 30 guys. Um, again, we're going to fight the battle. Um, so, Alchemy Spark, Alchemist, Alchemy Spark, the Corrupted. Okay, so. We're going to get in there and uh, finish you off if we can. So it's interesting we've got um, rebels and scaven rebels. Let's gamble. Okay. Oh, that was a beautiful gamble. Yeah, let's start the point. Okay, and then um, again, anyone who is um, who has a lot of damage. Reach all of those guys. Um, let's group them and pop them back there. And we'll start the battle. We'll then start softening them up. 
that. Okay, we then send these guys over there. You guys can go and shoot at them a bit. Then you guys can march over there. You can um, move up as well. Okay, and then so they're, they're pretty brave guys, because they're coming towards us. I see them um, as they come the hill as well. Because a lot of the fun of um, Total War is being able to see the individual units. I like the sort of round shields, some of um, triangular shields. So they're running already. Um, and then we have those victory. So. Let's just uh, clean up. And then Mr. Boss Man. Um, can go there. And you can start um, boosting these guys. Let's get a finish on those guys. So they get more needed. And then more replenish. Increase the speed, allow us an attack. Uh, it's probably from us. We're we'll probably shooting. So we can see them running away. We don't have many guys left in. Three, looks like. And it, um, it's nice to see their wounds over there as well. Um, on, oh, the four guys. Okay. So those guys. We expect them to, to um, catch up. Skaven do have um, high movement. At the same time, um, you know, mounted units should be able to move a lot faster, even than Skaven. So. About to crash into the back of them. Should see some of the Skaven chaps dropping. We got them cornered as well, it looks like. Or at least uh, slowed them up. And there we go. So, um, killed all of them. Yeah, so it's always good to try to eliminate um, as many of the enemy as you can. So we got zero losses that time, which is great. Um, that'll be a decisive victory. Um, we should kill and eat them because, again, it's going to give us some replenishment. Okay, and now we are close to the Fallen Gates. We can we... So... Escape will emerge in the... Um, vampire counts or scaven will emerge in the pro in the province. Okay. Oh, that's just corruption details. Oh, because we're hovering over. Okay. Um, so who does it? Hang on. Who does it belong to? Fallen Gate belongs to. Um, Sildra? Okay, so um, we won't worry about you then. And um, instead, we shall start moving back. Can we move at all? Even? I think we may be out of movement. Yeah, it looks like. Okay, so um, he's done. Then you can go in there. That's going to give you, um, hopefully, a boost to your replenishment. Um, we could recruit there as well. Uh, oh, we need to build. Okay. So, um, let's do some building then. Okay. Cannot build, you must upgrade your main settlement. Okay. 
Yeah, we can't do anything there at the moment. Turns into um, surplus points 12. Okay, so it's going to be a while before we get to um, upgrade there, I guess. So that needs um, one. Okay, so 12 more turns, unless we um, untax it, because then. No, that doesn't. Before that used to affect the. Um, the it used to affect the growth rate as well, but now it doesn't. Okay. We could um, boost the public order, but then tax isn't looking great, so um, we have to take a hit for that at the moment, and then um, we do something with it. So we've got other side skill points. Okay, now. What do we want? Revenge, um, hit points, um, combat can cause fear. Okay, and yeah, let's get that. And we have another point, so let's put two points in that. So that's now um, as high as we can do it. So uh, cooldown minus 50%, winter magic cost minus two, winter magic cost minus three, uh, miscast. Base chance minus fifty percent. Okay, okay, so that's fine. And then uh, that's pretty much that. So let's end the turn. So if I was a Skaven, I'd come attack here now while he's over there. It'd be a very Skaven thing to do. Try and um, ambush us. Major enemy cities will be fortified, sire. The capture of such citadels will likely mean a long siege. Okay, the fervor of your uh, great service warriors to combat agents of ancient enemy is admirable, though it is starting to verge on fanaticism in some divisions, risking mistakes that could allow chaos uh, greater purchase on lustrous sacred jungles and temple cities. Is such a recklessness in keeping with the great plan, or should the slan lord uh, mage priest instruct their underlings to instill caution in the ranks? Um, dead uh, warriors are of no use to the great plan. Cautious warriors um, live to fight on, and the foe may be swept from the world in realization of the old one's sacred um, design. Okay, then this one. Um, your Saras warriors fight, fight with bravery that fills you with hope, yet they all fall in greater numbers before the foe. Okay, so um, that'd be leadership up, but casualty um, down. And then that would just leave us as we are. So let's conserve and defend. Because we want to keep our guys. And then uh, we have unassigned skill points again. So let's go in here. Okay, so we've got one skill point. So he's prattling on there, we get rid of him. Uh, now. We need to pick something new. Charge bonus plus 5%, weapon strength plus 5%. Uh, character's aura effect plus 5. Campaign movement plus 10. So we're gonna get um, this. Okay, and then we'll uh, say thank you very much for that. Now our Lord. Um, we're gonna come um, back over here. Exactly where are you gonna go? Uh, let's put you here for now. Okay, then you can uh, march, we don't want to do that. But then it doesn't give you any other... Okay, so we're definitely not going to march. Settlement upgrade available, so let's see. So Skeggy, 
be kind of afraid we definitely do that. Okay, and then um, Hexalotl. So we could do this, uh, which is going to give us more income. So um, it's a hit to a treasury for a few turns, but um, we shall be happy about it once it's all done. And then, so last time we did that, is that right? I'm trying to see. So have that there. Um, Temple City's tribe. Um, yes, so is it the one that we did last time? Okay, we don't. Um, oh, we have options. That's what it is. Um, so, let's see. Foraging camp. Valas. Uh, um, and um, all one monument stone marker. Okay, so let's go for foraging and do that. Okay. So everything uh, that we can do is being done there. Then here, um, so public order is beginning to become a bit of a problem there. So. Um, let's get rid of tax there, which will drop our income, but our income um, is looking pretty healthy at the moment. And then, um, I think then we just end the turn. Okay, diplomacy. Um, Peace Tree, um, Clan Gnaw, the Skaven, so um, they must be feeling the bite a bit, um, so let's make a demand. Um, now, so let's demand a payment of uh, 300. Their economy power are very weak. Yes, yeah, so um, can we not make it? Okay, so the minimum is 300. Okay, and then do it that. Okay, so they've given us an extra 300, uh, which we're going to use to build up and attack them. <laughs> because why not? That's what Total War is all about. It's uh, getting near. Uh, it's a bit like Donald Trump saying that Mexico is going to uh, pay for his wall. Um, in Total War, you try to get your struggling um, enemies to pay for the troops that are going to come kill them. Okay, uh, so because they're looking for a, um, a peace treaty, it's probably going to be a good idea for. Master Mundi to head in this direction. So if he goes to our peak, okay, so he'll get there next turn, and um, then in that. Um, are there things that we can build? Because there, there are. Um, it's important to keep um, keep the building on the go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So we can upgrade that. So we definitely do that. Um, so that's um, Lustria. Uh, Forest of the Viper. Um, still got to. Oh, excuse me. Um, still got to wait for the um, growth to be a bit better there. And then uh, Settlers Coast, 
we are building what we can there. So, um, I think ending the turn is a good idea. So, um, we kind of got a bit of a respite here, so we can um, we can replenish our treasury a little. And we can let um, our armies recover slightly as well. Okay, so now uh, if we look at Mazda Mundi, so most of his guys, um, apart from like a few units, are um, doing pretty pretty well. And his entire army now um, are fine. Like these guys slightly, uh, you know, slightly um, down, but not that much. Now, um, let's go here, because um, it's going to be fun. Okay, so uh, this is the Skaven. Um, do we declare war? I think we do. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's Clan Na, he's Toxer. No allies have chosen to become involved in the dispute, which is great. Um, so many method ways in which to murder kill you. Okay, we've discovered the Skaven faction, Clan Na, hiding within the ruins of Macau Peak. Peaks? Okay. Or, yeah, Macau Peaks. Um, seed construction available. So um, let's see what CG type stuff we can do. Okay, so we've got um, lizard men, battering ram. Times one. Um, lizard men, seed charm. Times two. Okay, so those are similar to previous Total War. Um, like battering ram, seed charm, um, the pretty kind of standard fare, really. So he's called Charge Lock. Okay, and then we will continue to besiege them. So you might be able to starve them a bit. Um, then those guys are going to be fine. Um, I'm kind of tempted to maybe try uh, recruiting with him, but. I think for now we'll be okay, so it's end of time. And we see what the what the Skaven do, if they do anything at all. So is that a rebel? Oh here's a Skaven army coming now. Okay. So he's gone by there, so we can probably attack him. Um with our Lord. So give give the Lord a bit um a chance to get some glory for himself. Ooh, but look at that. Um thank God they're not coming our way. Eh? <laughs> that just shows you what kind of danger is right on our border. And that's why we need to The wars to come will be fought using dial as well as brawn. Consider expanding cool. your facilities to permit the recruitment of heroes, my lord. Heroes can be hired to support your forces, or to strike against the enemy. Okay, so the signs are clear. The eternal war once again swerves in illustrious direction. Those that threaten to make the progress of the great plan gain power and prominence, their designs must be countered. Do you use to swell the warrior's ranks, or bring forth a Saurus or Skink hero, Holy and I like the foe by fair means or foul. Um, let's spawn a new hero and just see who we get. A hero has enrolled so, in your service, Kalar. my lord. Be sure to put them to work. Their okay, unique here. skills may solve problems that no amount of money or effort would otherwise be able to crack. Very good. Okay, so um, we got him now. So, what are you actually able to do? Let's see your information. 
Okay. Armed with spears and carrying bronze shields, these veteran warriors are the best warriors the Al Sudan have to offer. Okay, so it's just about his unit. Uh, he's got no mount, he's a cold one, and he's a carnosaur. Okay, um, so he's um, going to be able to give us um, some assistance, I guess, from now on. But um, right now, um, I'm just thinking, yeah, so we don't have time to do this battle, um, which we're probably going to uh, take on anyway. And then um, he might actually go over and help, depending on um, how things are situated over there. But um, for now, I think we can safely say that that's the end of um, this particular episode. So if you're enjoying, please consider hitting the like button and maybe you know sharing with your friends or on your favorite social media. I really do hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.